there, my Radical Squad members. This is Napkins here, and we are back with some read-only memories. So we're about to go into the chop shop um, because we just helped that guy write some sick beats up in the hizzle. And we're going to talk to Nanya now. So cyberpunk dude right here. I got to... Uh, God, I have some... I'm so running out of voices. I think I'm just giving him a deep voice, I guess. I don't know. Nope. Yup. Nope. I don't know you. You got some willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. We just met for Moolah. He said you were cool. Moolah, that guy's a hoot. Keeps out the riffraff and fakers, too. But the seriously, where did you hear about me? Charlie Nova said I should come talk to you. Charlie? Yeah, I remember him. That TV guy runs his mouth a lot? Yeah. Paid good enough. All right then, what can I do for you? Uh, we have something important to ask you, I guess. You are Nonya, right? Sure, if that's what you want to call me. If your credit's clear, you could call me whatever you want. Enough foreplay, what can I do for you? Enough foreplay, I like that. Fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade. I can pretty much do it all, but most people come in here for VR implants. Turns out brain surgery is expensive, yeah? Uh, we're here on a different kind of business, bro. We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been passed, po posted on the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Novas are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. Um, have you had issues with the human revolution? What are you, cops? No, worse. You're journalists. Everybody hates journalists. Get the hell out of my shop. I have a business to run. I don't even have time to answer shit about shit that don't got shit to do with me. Okay, dude. Come on. You found the door before? Find it again. And tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. He ain't welcome around here no more. Give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meatbags. We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya, but I get, think it's time to make take matters into our own hands. I have an idea. Keep him occupied for a few minutes. Uh, how should I do that? Turing, please tell me. Just do what you normally do and ask questions. Nothing about the blog post, though. We don't want to send him off. Just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you gonna get going, or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? Uh, listen. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Damn straight, now get out of here. I did it. We were just hoping to get some more background information on the kind of implant he has so we can follow other leads. Shit, fine, whatever. I'll tell you what you want no, within reason. Doctor patient confidentiality and all that. Just promise me it'll get you the hell out of my shop a little sooner. Deal. Sorry for this. Our circumstances have gotten serious. We're following anything we can all the way to the end. There's no way to hack a VR implant like Charlie's. I mean, you can definitely install hostile firmware on one, but you can't just load whatever program you want without the user's knowledge. Any changes to the loaded firmware will trigger really obvious visual indicators to let you know something's being changed, and those are put in on the hardware level. I've never heard of anyone being able to circumvent them. The only person who could have loaded hostile firmware on there is me. And I get paid too much to risk my reputation over changing a few blog posts. What about using the mesh to mess with the implants? Is there some way to change the input remotely? No, the implant itself doesn't have any kind of wireless connection. You have to use a headset with an induction coil for I.O. Wireless just doesn't have the bandwidth for it. You might be able to try infecting a ROM with some virus that screws with the I.O., but you only use a connection to a ROM for AR HUDs. You can't handle the full simulation. You'd need a full rig and hardline connection to, do the, to the net to do that. So, I'd give it a big maybe if that's actually how it all happened. They probably would have found whatever infected his ROM way before you showed up here to bother me. Could it have b just been faulty parts? Not to be too blunt about it, but this area is a little disreputable. Disreputable. Words. Maybe your supplier sent you an implant with something fishy preloaded. 
damn it. Look, I get it. I'm working out of an old auto garage on the bad side of town. But I'm a fully licensed cyber surgery tech. This entire business is legit. It isn't illegal to install custom parts or firmware on any current generation implants. It just breaks the warranty. My business keeps a low profile so we don't run into bogus patent infringement lawsuits from Flyber Flower Cybernetics or whatever shell company they decide to come after you with. All of my parts are sourced directly from the original manufacturer, completely above board. So if they're bad, they were built by the bad by the factory. Now is that all? I have appointments to keep. Thanks for your time. Turing, what was the point of this? What was the point of that, Turing? You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain an optimal contact with the mesh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Your stock, off-the-shelf ROM, has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock of uh, or off the shelf after the changes Hayden made. Uh, what is that? Does that help? Van Eck pre freaking Van Eck freak Van Eck freaking <laughs> is a methodology by which you, which you scan the electromagnetic radiation emitted by the cathode ray tube inside of. Uh, none of this makes sense to me. Meaning, in layman's terms, I can read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. But we're in luck, it wasn't. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off the spreadsheet. One, in particular, stands out. Shitoro Osaku. That sounds flimsy. As if everything else on this wild goose chase hasn't been... Mr. Otsa Atsuka, sorry, Mr. Atsuka is a moderately prominent tech blocker, respected, perhaps a bit vitriolic. He catches my attention, though, because his historically has been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he's almost effusive in his praise. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulations that we saw from the augmented eye in Nova's blog. Now, it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Um, it might be worth looking into. Couldn't hurt to check, right? I've marked the location for Shotaru Otsuka's apartment on your map. I just want to say Otsaku for some reason. After you, sexy. Cool, let's go! This is the building, sexy. Mr. Otsak Atsuka must do well for himself, considering the neighborhood. Not the priciest section of Neo -Fran San Francisco, but nice enough for a self-employed tech blogger. Perhaps we should just ring the bell? We both know it won't be that easy, but these things have a certain order they have to be done in. I guess, only because you'll yell at me if I don't. Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shotaro Otsaku's ROM. Shotaru is not expecting any company at this hour, but I will let him know you are here. Sorry for the wait. Please hold on for just a moment while I fetch him. Hmm, that's encouraging. <laughs> hmm, which one should I pick, guys? Maybe try the bell again, sexy? Greetings, guests. I am LJ2, Shotaru Atsuka's ROM. Shotaro is not expecting any company at this blah blah blah. Again? That was odd. What, what is taking so long? Buh. Alright, third time's the charm, right? Why don't we just break in already? Once more with feeling. Buffy the Vampire Slayer references. I'm just skipping it. One of these days, I'm just going to blow a fuse. Thank Hayden for his system redundancies. Well, that's that. Let's see if we can find a way into Mr. Otsuka's apartment ourselves. Gate is locked. You have to be buzzed in. Design is just slightly worn from weather and general outside hazards, but it's in surprisingly good shape. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, didn't I see you earlier at TMI? Nice to meet you. I'm Sky. You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Your ROM looks fancy enough to keep track of that. Oh, so can't get us in? Can we climb this tree? Trunk is pickled and rough as far as you can reach. Yeah, climb it! 
Oh, hey. Hey. Mr. Otsuka's apartment is on the second floor. This fire escape should give us access to his window. We just need something to let us reach it. I'm sure there's some piece of de detritus or loose end lying around we could use. Or I could steal her umbrella. That's how these things always work. Or I could steal her umbrella. You weren't prepared for the weather, huh? Your rod looks fancy enough to handle that. About that. Hmm? You want my umbrella? Not for the weather. We need to use the hook handle to reach the fire escape ladder so we can pull it down. Oh, you live here and lost your key card, huh? I totally understand. I do that all the time. But look, as much as I'd love to give you this umbrella, I'm kind of using it right now. Where I come from, see, we're all about equal trades. It's part of our culture. Gym culture? Sorry, but unless you've got anything interesting to exchange for it, I'm gonna have to hold on to this. Don't want to get wet. Um, what could I give her? Do I have something cool? Um, no, I need that. I could give her that. Oh, I could give her the headphones. Hmm, these are pretty cool, but I'm not big into music. I like video games more. There's no mic on this headset. Damn it, she's a fellow gamer. About this pistol. Whoa, calm down, calm down. Okay, oh, I didn't mean to threaten her. What? She wasn't going to shoot you. Oh, then you can have it. Oh. Then I will shoot you. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go on a search for something, aren't I? Oh! She just wanted a... Oh! that That's easier than I thought it was. Hey, is this real? The real Yannick Fairlight? You know him? Of course I do. He's one of the most innovative tech minds of the last few generations. Can I please have this? I'll give you the umbrella. Yours to keep if you want. I think it's a fair trade, and I don't think she has a problem with it either. Do you, sexy? Okay. Thanks. Here you go. I didn't know that that's what she would want. This is so exciting. I'm gonna go call him right now. Okay, weirdo. I'm kidding. She's just a fan. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Oh well, now we have our tool, and a pretty spiffy one at that. Let's go. Thought I had to go find something. Excellent work, sexy. Do we know which one is... There we go. I was like, something's moving right there. This window is unlocked. Let's go in. Ugh, what's that smell, Turing? Oh no, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. My olfactory sensors detect chemicals associated with decaying food and something else I can't pin down. It's unfamiliar to me. He's dead. He's dead. Yep. That's better. Let's take a look around. A whole greasy bag of toe and fro fast food chain the state is famous for flies are circling around it like vultures. Doesn't respond to your touch. Yep. Mr. Otsuka? There's no response. Shitaro, Shitaro must be plugged into the mesh. He hasn't even noticed us. I feel like I could scream without him knowing. Ah! Mr. Otsuka! Nothing. Hello, guest. I'm Mr. Otsuka's Rom, LJ2. Welcome. Shatura has been a bit under the weather recently, so he has not been receiving anyone. He is trying very hard to keep up with his deadlines, but I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. We just checked and he seems to be busy. Is there anything else I might assist you with? A drink, perhaps? Uh... Is your owner still making blog updates? He is. A Shotaro is a diligent man, even in the face of such adversity. If you are a reader of his work, his next significant piece will be going online tomorrow. I will not spoil it for you. How long has your owner been ill? 
Shatara has been a bit under the weather for some time, but I could not tell you precisely when. He rarely has visitors or goes on outings, so this is only slightly abnormal behavior for him. In fact, you are the first visitor he has had in a while. Several days, in fact. Perhaps you could ask him about it yourself? I will check and see if he has a moment to speak with you. Uh, when was your last diagnostic check? I run regular self-checks and have noticed no irregularities in either my hardware or software. I appreciate your concern. If you think I am behaving erratically, perhaps you can mention it to Shataro. He is skilled at maintenance. Let me know if you need anything. I am always happy to assist. I'm serious, he's dead. That was creepy. We are too late. You could say that again. Stabbed in the chest, right through the back of the chair. Looks like it severed his carotid artery. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I can't help but wonder if this was done by the same person who assaulted Zin. Yes? Sorry. His Rom doesn't even think anything is wrong. We need to hurry. If I'm right, everyone we've talked to so far is in more danger than we thought. Someone is cleaning up. We have to find his computer so I can see if I can pull anything relevant off of it. You interrogate his Rom. Maybe if you can find out why it's acting so strange. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Menu. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Um, we'll continue this in the next episode. Yeah, I've been called away, so I'm going to end a little early. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so dearly, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! Eva, disable the taste simulation now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. Little dolphins. Oh, that's sweet. The basket wheel is what they call it. It's called a Ferris wheel, but okay. I guess that makes sense if you don't grow up with it. That must be a landmark. Okay, good to know.